So here we are, back to the location that used to be an old picnic grove, back in the 20s, 30s. It's all built up now. The park's still being used, so there's a mix of new and old. You're currently watching Skid Marks of Spot Metal Detecting. We do treasure hunting videos like this quite often, so if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, of course, we always appreciate the support. So let's get to it and find some goodies. All right, so we're right at the base of this tree here. Nice screaming signal, screaming. We got ourselves a brass buckle with an iron tongue. Looks like the emperor. That's why it was screaming solid brass. Listen, that's horse tack. But you know we're <clears throat> you know we're on old ground. So we'll keep going. That's a cool find nonetheless. We'll see you guys on the next. Well, there's got to be more in the hole. This is ringing up 14. You can just see the imprint there. And the clump. That has a silver tinge to it. We're going to say it's silver. This is probably a 1968 silver dime. Yeah, per. It's exactly what it is. 1968 silver dime. Awesome. We'll keep going. See you on the next. All right, so it's twice in a row now. I was gonna solid 14. The last hole, I pulled a pull tab, pull tab out just above the dime, so silver was masked i'm pretty sure this park's been hit pretty hard but uh when you dig up the trash you get the signals 14 right there didn't get any other signal after i cleaned up the hole and double checked it i got a high 26 here it's deep and just in the wall there make out a silver edge let's have a look That's uh, silver. How old? We don't know yet. Ooh, another modern. Definitely silver though. 1965. 1965 silver dime. Under the can slaw. Gotta dig it all, folks, to find the good stuff. We'll move on. And there you go. Always triple check your holes. That was the dime. Another signal right here. Dug down. And we have more. That's another silver edge. Oh. It's been a long while since I dug one of these. The Macro Dime Centennial. 1967 Centennial coin. Been a long while. Lots of silver spill. We'll keep going. Three silver so far. Double check the hole. We'll let you know if we find more. See you on the next. All right, so it's been a little bit since the two silvers. Dug some pennies, a little bit of can slaw. This I thought was can slaw until I seen some writing. And I actually cleaned it up a little. And it's what's left over from a Three Merry Widows condom tin. You can just make out the three and the Merry Widow. It's all chopped up, but that's a relic. Mary, three Mary Widows condom tin. 
We'll keep going. See you on the next. Oh, kiss of death once again. Let's ring it up like a quarter. Gotta take it live. Ooh, a root. See that? Pinpointer's been acting up. Good. Okay, pinpoint is acting up. I'm going to have to search for the target and we'll bring it back. So there's the imprint, kiss of death, we got a modern penny, 1970s, under that root, right there, you can't win them all, it's not all sunshine and lollipops, there's pennies and pull tabs too, we'll keep going, see you on the next, and... Another solid signal. We got some more horse tack. This is a little, uh, I don't even know. But the strap would go through here. It would sit, I'm guessing, almost like a rosette. But I don't think it's called that. Don't really know, but I do know it's horse tack. So, we are on to the old stuff. Whole prior to this one, I found an old. George's six penny. So we're on the right ground. We'll keep going. See you on the next. I don't know. I researched an old picnic area, but it's looking like horse tack everywhere. Got another brass buckle with iron tongue. Almost identical to the other one. Wow. This one wasn't deep at all. Wowzers, they're cool to find, but I want some coins and jewelry. Come on. We'll keep going. See you on the next. All right, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I must have stumbled onto an old barn location or an old farm location. Because as you can see, we got another buckle. What is going on? They're almost all identical. Wow, I love finding these, but like I said, we need some coins and more coins, not just modern silver. Anyways, we'll keep going. See you on the next. All right, so I hovered around the area where I found the modern dime, and there's a root right there. And again, under the root, just kind of pulled it out here. Where the heck did I put it? Break up pinpointer. Not sure if it's modern yet. It's deep enough to be silver though. So let's have a look. Can't quite make it out here. Try to clean it up a bit. Judging by the color, I'm gonna say it's silver, but we don't know.
definitely see Elizabeth. But is it modern? Let's find out. Not cleaning up very well for silver. Oh, we might have a date popping through there. Have a look, see. Oh my goodness, it looks modern. Oh, what's a modern dime doing so deep? I can't be. Yeah, 1980. Not silver. And it was deep. Can't win them all. We'll keep going. At least we're 10 cents richer. See you on the next. Well, that was about four hours worth of detecting. I was hoping for a lot more for this week's episode. But you can't win them all. We did score a couple silvers, a few horse tack relics, and some other goodies which didn't make video. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate the support. Next week, we'll be doing the 500 subscriber appreciation giveaway. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so, so you don't miss out. Anyways, see you guys next week. Stay tidy, friends, and on to the next.